What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have a Pokemon opening. We're a little bit late to the party, but we finally got our boxes of Generations, what is it? Tag Team Generations Premium Collection. So we're going to do a opening two of them and we'll kind of just do our own little review of this product. My initial thoughts are pretty good. It's a pretty good product. Um, don't pay MSRP for it. Right now, I believe you can pick it up off of Amazon for like 35 uh, compared to 50 at like Target or Walmart. So, you know, wait for some kind of deal or just go to Amazon right now. Uh, maybe they'll still have it. Um, you know, it does have seven packs, uh, which, you know, at that $35 price point is like $5 a pack, but it's not like hidden fates or anything. It is, you know, just the regular standard set. So that's not great, but the promos are cool and does have a lot of added bonuses. Like uh, the, the coin and the jumbo card are, are kind of like par for the course, but that does have a play mat, which is very unique. And I actually like the play mats. Uh, we'll take a look at it, but I actually think it's better than the Hidden Fates one. The Hidden Fates just felt as very copy and pasted of all the Pokemon that we've been looking at for months for Hidden Fates. So um, yeah, we'll do a quick review and uh, let's begin. To start, let's talk packaging. Nothing is worse than paying a good amount of money for you know some packs which you may not get much out of and some promos. So packaging is always important. Actually, instead of a plunger, like they are almost in the plunger kind of thing and they come right out. So well done. You are capable of shipping cards completely undamaged. I like it. And uh, yeah, so thumbs up there. Next is the play mats. I like it. It's awesome. Has all the new tag teams and they include all the original starters. I think that's great. Uh, I was pretty excited when Hidden Fates was going to come with the playmat and I was pretty let down. It kind of led me back to like, you know, oh man, Pokemon produced playmats are just so vanilla and so boring. But this one is definitely a step up. It's not just the arts from the cards or anything like that. Uh, actually, and it's got some cool symmetry and all that. So playmat, another thumbs up. All right, and the thing I'm most excited about is the pack selection. The bottomless pit of XY packs maybe has run dry finally, years and years later. We have two Cosmic Eclipse followed by five Unified Minds. So not only is it recent, uh, not only is it Sun and Moon, but they're all recent, they're all still standard, and they're the last newest sets. And um, sure, my initial thought was like, oh, only two Cosmic Eclipse, why is that? that that's kind of strange. And while that's true, I don't mind that. Uh, if you haven't seen our mail video from earlier this week, Cosmic Eclipse is so cheap. I actually think that there are better cards in Unified Minds right now, which is very ironic. Um, so pack selection, two thumbs up. Uh, things are looking good for this product. Coin, sure, whatever. It's just the coin. Eh, it's a, it actually has Charizard and Bricks in it. It's pretty cool. This Jumbo card. I love this alternate art. We'll take a look at that one, uh, from the other view. But uh, yeah, feeling really good. We're going to be opening two of these boxes. So we got a lot of packs to open. Let's do this. All right. I think we're all set. Here is what the promos look like. I really like this Charizard Bricks in one. And I really enjoy playing with this card. In my current deck that I've been trying to make work in PTCGO, it is just a one of. And unfortunately, the deck has not been performing very well. <laughs> As of late, ADP is just all over the place. Shoutouts to NanP slash Hernan. Um, he actually won this card in a Discord giveaway. Discord plug is linked down below. Join the Discord and join us. And here's a couple code cards. I'm guessing you just pick up these two cards and, I don't know, maybe a coin. Pretty sweet if you've do want to try Venus, uh, Charizard breaks in. You know, the Venusaur card, I feel like is not great, but there wasn't much they could do about that. If that could be on your bench and use its ability, it would be way overpowered. But, uh, all right, let's get right into it. We're going to do all of our Unified Minds packs. We got 10 of them, followed by four Cosmic Eclipse. And uh, before we get to the opening, my rating of this product is very positive. Uh, you know, the especially when you're looking at something like five dollars per pack the xy thing doesn't count and it just like throws off those numbers even more so with the exclusion of xy is a huge boon to this product all right let's see we got hapu ah unified minds i actually don't remember it that well onyx fletchender snover 
Ooh, reverse cherish ball. That's a very good card. And then, oh my gosh! All right, pretty like very good product. Eh, we'll pull, we'll call it good product as of right now. And with these pulls, this is becoming a great opening. And um, yeah, this goes back to that. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna double sleeve it. But uh, you know, full art is better. Although this purple on purple, sometimes it makes it pop more. This actually might not be the case for this card. I love the, like, how the lines are showing up though from the lighting. Uh, this one almost feels like the colors are blending in, almost like a rainbow rare. But a great pickup. Mewtwo is still relevant these days, so I'm very happy with that. And uh, that's our first time we pulled the full art, I think. Definitely haven't pulled the rainbow rare. So hope everyone's having a good day. And if you're based out of the U.S., hope you are going to have a great holiday weekend and spend some time with your family. Um... For Thanksgiving and all that. Tortuga! We still never pulled the reverse one. I'm not sure if we ever will, but always happy to get more sea turtles. Giant Hearth, another good card. Vigoroth, the Dupider. Let's see what else is going on. So, uh, we'll do a quick Twitch plug. We just uh, commissioned our first emote, Garchomp. Uh, not a bad card. I think every once in a while you face a Garchomp, Garchomp deck. And my piles are messed up. And I'm really excited to show it to you guys. Um, so we'll be spamming that on Twitch, and uh, especially for the or the subs will be spamming spamming it on Twitch. Shoutouts to our subs: Get Wrecked, EMC, and Matt Champ. Appreciate all the support you guys give to the I Want a Turtle community. Uh, let's see, we got Kamala, Pokemon Research Lab, Luminion, Scraggy, a Numel. Tynamo, a Poipo, maybe we'll set you off to the side, Snow Runt, a Joltik is a reverse, and then Exadrill. Ah, oh, Exadrill is always doing that thing, shuffle four cards in your discard pile. Oh no, this one's doing the opposite, <laughs> that the um, Cosmic Eclipse one, that guy wants to mill your deck, this guy's trying to put stuff back in there. So I'll just make a couple announcements of some upcoming videos as uh, I do will pre-record some stuff as I will be, uh, you know, visiting family myself for the long weekend. Giant Bomb. This was an interesting card. I wonder if there are applications for this. You know, there's, you know, Nuzguz um, ADP, you know, ADP, let's see, um, doesn't say before before weakness so ADP into Keldeo a lot of things that uh, they're Bowen doing 180 damage and then to do 100 hmm maybe this is worth considering especially if uh, actually I don't know where I was going with that but uh, we'll put this off to the side maybe that's worth trying Bugcatcher, Mesprit, Sawaddle, Skaroopy, Wimpod, Slakecoth, Salandit, Pokemon Research Lab and then Zergatry, I have no idea what you do. Probably something with prizes. So a couple not so good packs there, but uh, we already got that Mewtwo. I'm pretty happy with the results just from that. But uh, so some upcoming openings. So an update on our premium Hidden Fates Premium Collection Super Duper Super Expensive Boxes. And uh, so the vendor did get back to me and essentially said, if you want, because no matter what, I can just return the thing. Um, in fact, I believe they would pay for shipping too based on their return policy as it, it is a defective product as it's broken. But uh, they offered to, I can just open it as is and take some pictures of the damage and then they'll reimburse me a uh, partial refund based on how badly broken the figure is or if any of the packs are brand damaged. Uh, so I think I'll do that at least for one of them and we'll kind of maybe take it from there. So I'll probably record that before I leave and that'll probably be um, showing later in the week. Uh, we'll definitely do a market video taking a look at some of the Black Friday deals. So definitely stay tuned for that. Probably my favorite series to do on this channel is the Pokemart. Uh, not only do I, I feel there's a lot of positive feedback about just talking about the topics, but to be honest, I feel like I learned a lot just from doing that series. Espeon Deoxys, very nice pull right there. Getting all the Psychic tag teams.
All right, let's see, we got a grass energy. Ooh, recycle energy. <laughs> Someone's asking about that today, although they're looking for an online copy. Dragonair, Stunfisk, a Gibble, Lickitung, Dwebble, Muna, a Hunchcrow is our reverse. Not sure what's going on in this picture. And then Dragon Knight. Uh, first, this card was kind of underwhelming, and then I actually faced it a couple times, and I feel like it was either doing crazy work and just like destroying me, or doing very little, and it was an easy victory. Wonder if that's one of those things that there's not much of a middle ground, and it's probably less than 50 50 chance of everything being executed as desired. Cherish Ball, always going to be a good card. Tag Switch, that's another good one. L gem. I think we already have a bunch of these set aside if we ever did want to play that deck. Although that's kind of one of the more annoying ones, so I doubt that. Pikachu, Bidoof, L gem reverse, and then Slate King. Cool art. Okay card. But yeah, I mentioned the Twitch earlier, so we do stream. Uh, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 7 p.m. EST. Uh, occasionally we'll stream additional days, but uh, that's going to be our consistent schedule. So definitely check us out. Uh, I think it's just twitch.com slash I want a turtle. And we also stream on YouTube, but uh, definitely the Twitch side is where you should be, especially if you play the online game. We do tons of giveaways throughout our streams. Excuse me. And you do have to be on Twitch for that. Zygarde, just some... Buffers for Zygarde GX. Never seen that even attempted. Kind of disappointed because I do like the idea of very targeted support. Um, you know, not super targeted, but kind of like specific support would be like those Eevees uh, from Cosmic Eclipse Evolutions. And actually, there is some potential there. I feel like if uh, Reshizard continues to win tournaments, that thing will just be more relevant as you can evolve into Glaceon and just do some pretty, hit some pretty nice numbers, pretty convenient numbers. Purloin is our reverse. Oh my gosh, two full arts and Latios. This one is super good. I feel like there is still some hope for Malamar. Uh, not very well centered, but this is one where the full art does pop. I like this full art looking better than the rainbow. But uh, I feel like this card gives it a fighting chance against ADP. If you can clear vision before they creation whatever, then you can win. If you can't, then <laughs> good luck. You'll need it. All right, that's it for Cosmic Eclipse. We got three hits, two of them full arts. Um, as far as his opening goes, very good pulls. Very happy with the results of our... Uh, these two boxes. All right, now we're moving into Cosmic Eclipse. Newest set. There's that one of those Vaporeon buffer, Evolution buffers. Tag call. That's going to be a good call. A good card until tag teams go away. Which maybe will happen in Sword and Shield. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching this video and you haven't gone to ebay.com today, check if you uh, qualify for 10% eBay bucks. And, oh my gosh, a secret rare. Ah, oh, we just picked this one up. But... Uh, Obviously, things these are always better when you pull them, and I feel like it's off center just by a little bit, maybe a little bit uh, this way. But uh, all right, I feel like the secret rares oftentimes have a lot of potential because there might be a card that maybe it's not super relevant now. Although I think this is used, it's used in a bunch of expanded stuff. But then, you know, some new cards will come along. It's like, all right, now this card is really good. And the value of it just shoots up. So double sleeve this guy for sure. I was thinking about penny sleeve, but I think it's unlikely I'll get this graded. But secret rare, two full arts, one secret rare, one ultra rare, one Tortuga. All right, I was getting so wrapped up in all these good pulls. I forgot that going forward, we always need to keep Rayquaza populated with the best pulls so far. And even though the we got the challenge emulets i think i'm more excited about the mewtwo mew uh that's actually our first one that we pulled i'm pretty sure so that one's actually going to take the spot and uh yeah we got three more packs of cosmic eclipse left very happy with the results of these two boxes 
And let's talk about the product. So I feel like it's above average product. You know, there are a lot of duds out there. This one is definitely um, close to about worth it in my opinion. However, I will say that if nothing about this box is like a must have for you and you're just thinking maybe I'll just get a one of just to open it, I think you can get away without doing that. I think you won't be missing much and a month from now you'll completely forget about it. But um, as far as comparing it to other boxes, this is definitely better than average. For sure. Alright, two packs left. And just a quick shout out to everyone that supports the channel, whether you are sub to the YouTube side, whether you tune into our streams, however it is you go about supporting I Want a Turtle and or myself, I Want a Turtle, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you for the continued support. We have Lillipop, Scrump, a Pikachu. Ah, we were playing some Nuzzle stuff the other night. Dragonium Z and a Guzzlord. I actually think this Guzzlord's a kind of a expensive card although I'm not sure why we'll put this off to the side all right last pack and it's Blastoise can we get some last pack magic all right lightning energy hurt ear tangro Prinplup, spiel net two Palpitoad, Jang Mo'o, Dealing. Our reverse is a Herdier. And so, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. My verdict is this is a good product. Um, however, if nothing, if nothing is a must-have, I think you'll be fine without getting it. But if you do get it, you pay that around that $35 price. Do not pay MSRP. It was not worth 50 bucks, in my opinion. And uh, our last card is a Whale Lord. So thanks for watching guys, I'm Wanda Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.